Good evening. This, the 121st meeting of the 71st term of the Baltimore City Council is now called to order. Please turn off all cell phones or put them on vibrate. Tonight's invocation will be led by the Honorable Helen Holton. After the invocation, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us humble our hearts and look to the Lord. Eternal, gracious, and loving God, you are the only wise, true God that makes all things possible. You sit high and look upon the earth at we, your children, your beloved creation. You see all that we do, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and yet you continue to love us and show steadfast mercy. In Micah 6, 8, it is said, what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. We as your servants, chosen by the people to serve in a just manner, we ask that you humble our hearts and incline our ears to hear from you, Lord God, that we might act in a manner that would reflect your love for your people. This prayer today is that you would open our eyes to see a new reality of harmony, peace, love, justice, and oneness. Lord God, we pray for all the victims of violence. We pray for the grieving families that have lost loved ones unjustly in a sin-sick world. Lord God, please use us to be a reflection of true democracy, equity, and fairness for all the people of this great city and beyond. Lord God, we ask that you bless our mayor, our city council president, and all council members. Help us to be true ambassadors and leaders who lead with an open heart, a clear conscience, and an eye toward heaven. We who have been chosen to lead, help us to lead by examples of justice, mercy, and humility. However we began this day, help us to end it in a better frame of mind than which it began. Let us reflect on how we have made life better for someone by lightening the load or lifting a burden. Help us to restore hope and joy and opportunity in our beloved city. I recently read a prayer of a soldier on a battlefield and found it most appropriate for this day. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of others. I was given weakness that I might feel the need of God. I asked for all things that I might enjoy life. I was given life that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing that I asked for, but everything I had hoped for, almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. I am among all people most richly blessed. And it is in the name of our Lord and Savior that we say amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> um, thank, thank you, Councilwoman Holton, for the invocation. Uh, the clerk will call the roll of the members. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry, Specter, Middleton, Welsh, Reisinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark, Holton. Ms. President, we have a quorum. Thank you. Um, is Ms. Chris Wilson of the MTA here? 
No? Okay. It is the council custom to generalize the invocation acts for a motion to generalize the prayer, motion by Councilor Scott, second by Council Vice President Rossinger. All those in favor of generalize the prayer say aye. aye. All those opposed nay. The motion carries. We'll now proceed with the adoption of the journal. Mr. President, the journal proceed Mr. General, the president of the proceedings. <laughs> Mr. President, the journal of the proceedings from the June 6th City Council meeting is on the council members' desks. Is there a motion to approve the journal? Motion by Councilman Henry, second by Councilman Branch. All those in favor of adopting the journal say aye. aye. Those opposed nay. The motion carried the journal is adopted. Thank you, uh, Councilman uh, Kern. <laughs> Bill signed by the mayor can be found on page two of the agenda. Bills to be introduced. City Council Bill 16-0693, repeal of Port Covington Urban Renewal Area and Plan. Ordinance for the purpose of repealing Ordinance 87-1075, as amended by Ordinances 87-1179 and 88-1, which established the Port Covington Urban Renewal Area and Plan and providing for special effective date. Sponsor City Council President on behalf of the administration. This has been assigned to Urban Affair and Aging Committee. City Council Bill 16-0694, South Baltimore Gateway Community Impact District Establishment Ordinance for the purpose of creating a community impact district to be known as the South Baltimore Gateway Community Impact District, specifying the boundaries of the district, creating an authority and providing for its rights, duties, powers, and funding, providing for the selection and composition of the authority boards of directors, providing for an administrator for the authority, mandating the fiscal, mandating the financial responsibilities of the authority and the city in conjunction with the operation of the district, specifying the city's role in maintaining and enhancing existing services, designating the Board of Estimates as the agency charged with reviewing and approving various matters relating to the district and the authority, providing for the renewal, expiration, and termination of the district and the authority, including the authority, its board of directors, and its staff within the purview of the city public ethics law, providing for a special effective date and generating to the existence, operation, and control of the South Baltimore Gateway Community Impact District and Authority. Sponsor City Council President on behalf of the administration. This has been assigned to the Urban Affairs and Aging Committee. City Council Bill 16-0695, Plant New Development Amendment 1, New Shallow Baptist Church, Ordinance for the purpose of approving certain amendments to the development plan of the New Shallow Baptist Church, plant new development, and conforming a reference. Sponsor Mosby. This has been assigned to the Land Use and Transportation Committee. City Council Bill 16-0696, plant new development, Amendment 1, Kennedy Krieger Institute. Ordinance for the purpose of approving certain amendments to the development plan of the Kennedy Krieger Institute, plant new development. Stokes. This has been assigned to the Land Use and Transportation Committee. There are no resolutions. Uh, you can find the consent count in section A at the back of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent count? Uh, moved by Councilman um, Scott, second by Councilman Henry. All those in favor of approving the consent count say aye. Aye. Those opposed nay. The motion carrying this count is approved. Chair recognize Councilman Kraft. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, at this time, I would move that all the remaining bills on second and third reader be referred to by short title. Second by Councilman Costello. All those in favor of short titles for the remaining of the hearing say aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. The motion carried. We will now move the bills on second reader. Budget and Appropriation Committee. What's, what happened? I can't hear you. Uh, Chair recognize Councilman Welch. I'd like to request four privilege, to privileges. We have um, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. We have with us today members of the lacrosse team at Franklin Square Elementary Middle School. They're returning again. They were again champions of their league this year. Will you please join me on the floor, members of the team and their coach as well? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, Councilman. Um, Councilman Walsh is moving to extend floor privileges to his guests, second by Councilwoman Clark. All those in favor of extending floor privileges, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, nay. Your guests may take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Turn on Victor's mic. Mr. President and members, 
As I said, this is the second year that this team has won their, this, this Baltimore City Championship, isn't it? Come on over here, Dr. Crawley. You're so instrumental in this. This is Dr. Crawley, who is the, the greatest advocate for children that I've ever seen. And he has mentored and started a STAR program and a number of things at Franklin Square and is instrumental in assisting the coach. And as you know, most head coaches get the work done through their assistant coach. So I applaud you and everything that you've done with our students, with our scholars. And I'm looking at the medals that they wear and they wear them proudly. I want to present you, Dr. Crawley, with the City Council resolution for the work that you've done. And Coach, I can't pronounce your name, Fiery, Fiery? Fiery. 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 I, I appreciate it, like a boat, Fiery, with the resolution as well. And let me borrow the council ladies' space for just a second. Always, always. My mom sat next to you for years. I'm going to read the first one. And it's going to be to Jonathan Bradley Christian. Oh, this is the team boosters. These aren't in the correct order. Let me, let me reverse them. Let's go from the bottom. Go down three. Okay. I put these in the correct order. All right, we're going to start with the head coach. The City Council of Baltimore resolution be a hereby known to all that the City Council of Baltimore offices sincerest congratulations to Mr. Ryan Ferry, athletic director and head coach in recognition of Franklin Square Elementary Middle School, Peacocks, I can't read this, this fancy writing. Uh, lacrosse team's second consecutive championship. Win in the 2016 Baltimore City Middle School Lacrosse League. Thank you, I'm so glad you can read. Start using regular script, these, these fancy scripts. The entire, <laughs> the entire membership extends best wishes on this memorable occasion and directs this resolution pre-presented on this 13th day of June, 2016 by our council city president, Bernard C. Jack Young, me, Councilman William Pete Welch, and all the members of the Baltimore City Council. Coach, congratulations on coaching such a wonderful team. And Dr. Crowley, I would like to present you with a similar resolution. And Dr. Crowley, I would like you to come over on this side for just a second. Switch a little bit. And I would like for you to read the name since they print these things in such a really fancy script that I can't read. Um, read the names of your lacrosse players and their titles as you present resolutions to each and every one of them. Principal Terry Patton, I will, let's recognize her. Okay. okay, this is the uh, the ones that are here. Okay, our eighth graders, unfortunately, are now ninth graders, so they forgot where we are. Taiwan Hawkins, <laughs> Malachi Loveless. Kareem Holmes. <laughs> Jermaine Glover. <laughs> Rashad Spencer. <laughs> okay, he's not here. Okay, he's not here. That's a team. He's not here. Um, Corey Bowden Jr. Jonathan. Brown. 
Bradley, one of our boosters and supporters. <laughs> Mr. Curtis McMeekin, one of our boosters and supporters. <laughs> I, I must say, last year we didn't have any boosters or supporters, and it's amazing what happened. Um, Councilman, I think Corey had something you wanted to say real quick. Um, Doesn't he look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Councilman P. Welch, um, you've been with us since day one, and we really couldn't have this championship without you. And as we see it in our perspective, you're a part of our team. So I would like to present you with this medal because oh, you're, you're a champion <laughs> along with us. Oh, thank you. She could have played with that. Oh, you. Council President, can you join us for a, a photo? Oh, let me put my medal on. Oh, this is great. There you go. This might be the last time you're gonna be smaller than this. Where is he? Yeah, we usually get on the end. Thank you, Council President. Thank you, colleagues. And thank you to the lacrosse team from Franklin Square Elementary Middle. Congratulations. Let's give them another hand. We'll now move the bills on second reading the Budget and Appropriation Committee. Yeah, we're doing short titles. City Council Bill 16-0645, Supplementary Conduit Enterprise Fund Capital Appropriation, Department of Transportation, $20 million. Chair recognize Councilwoman Holton. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is a very important measure that has uh, been deliberated for quite some time. We realized the swiftness of moving this forward, and we had a very good hearing, and the committee moves this favorable. Uh, second by Councilman Kraft. All those in favor of approving this bill say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The motion is approved. This bill moves the third reader. City Council Bill 16-0646, Supplementary Conduit Enterprise Fund Operating Appropriation, Department of Transportation, $6,252,636. Chair recognize Councilwoman Holton. Thank you, Mr. President. This is a companion bill that goes with the first. And I, I need to just publicly thank the committee members of the Budget and Appropriations Committee um, for moving this swiftly. Once we got sufficient information, the committee recommends a favorable report. Second by Councilman Kraft. All those in favor of approving this bill say aye. aye. Those opposed nay. The motion is approved. This bill moves to third reading. Land Use and Transportation Committee. City Council Bill 16 0662, rezoning 1215 East Fort Avenue. Chair recognize Council Vice President Rossinger. <clears throat> Mr. President, I move the finding of facts. Second uh, by Councilman Costello. All those in favor of approving the finding of facts say aye. aye. Those opposed nay. The motion is approved. The finding of the facts are adopted. Chair recognized Vice President Ross. Mr. President, there's no amendments to this bill. I move the bill favorable. Second by Councilman Costello. All those in favor of approving this bill say aye. aye. Those opposed nay. The motion to approve. This bill moves the third reader. Third reader to be held one meeting. City Council Bill 15-0599 zoning. Condition use conversion of two dwelling units to three dwelling units in the R8 zoning district, 35 South Fulton Avenue. Third reader for final passage. City Council Bill 15-0495, zoning condition use conversion of a one-family dwelling unit to two-family dwelling unit in the R8 zoning district, 926 Newington Avenue. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Kern, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Welsh, Friesinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 15-0572, zoning condition use conversion 
of a single family dwelling unit to four family dwelling units in the R7 zoning district, variances 1715 Spence Street. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Frysinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 15-0595, City Streets Closing, Baylor Street. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton Walsh, Frysinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0614, tax sales, interest rate on redemptions. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton Walsh, Frysinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0622, repeal of Ordinance 02-299, Flag House Court Hope 6, Plant Union Development. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Holton Welsh, Friar Senior Costello, Stokes Branch Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0627, Property Tax Credit, City Supplement to Homeowners Tax Credit Program. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Holton Welsh, Friar Senior Costello, Stokes Branch Clark. Councilwoman Middleton, do you want to be recorded as a yes on this bill? You can read it again. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Rice Senior, Costello, Stokes Branch Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-06. 3-3, Plant New Development, Designation, Canton Crossing. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Rice Center, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0634, Employees Retirement System and Elected Officials Retirement System, Actuarial, actuarial Assumptions, Benefit Payments, Clarifications and Modifications. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Rice Center, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0640, bond issue, affordable housing loan, $6 million. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Rice Senior, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0641, bond issue, school loan, $34 million. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Rice Senior, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0642, bond issue, community and economic development loan, $45 million. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Friar Senior, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0643, bond issue, recreation, parks, and public facilities loan, $45 million. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Walsh, Friar Senior, Costello, Sp Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0651, property tax exemption, community managed open space. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton Walsh, Reisinger, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. Mayor and City Council Resolution 16-0660, Charter Amendment, Inner Harbor Park. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry, Spector, Middleton, Holton Walsh, Reisinger, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0661, Adult Entertainment Businesses, National Human Trafficking Resource Center Hotline Information Sign Posting. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Welsh, Frysinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0665, Sale of Property, Former Bed of Sinclair Lane and Certain Streets Lying Within the Former Freedom and Claremont Homes Project, now known as Orchard Ridge. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Welsh, Holton, Rice Center, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. City Council Bill 16-0666, City Property Naming the Bridge Located Between 1200 and 1300 Blocks of Fort Avenue to be the Karen J. Johns Memorial Bridge. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Curran, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Rice Center, Costello, Stokes Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. Chair, recognize Councilman Costello. Mr. President and colleagues, the family just asked me to convey how grateful they were for the gesture of, of renaming the bridge after Ms. Johns. So thank you all very much. You're, you're welcome. Mayor and City Council Resolution 16-0672, Charter Amendment, Board of Estimates, Local Small and Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program. President Young, Kraft, Scott, Kern, Henry Spector, Middleton, Holton, Reisinger, Costello, Stokes, Branch, Clark. This bill is approved. Committee announcement. Chair recognized Councilman Henry. He was quick on that one. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I need to suspend rules 10-2 and 10-3 to announce hearings. Second by Councilman Scott. All those in favor of suspending rules announce a hearing. Say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The motion carry. Chair recognizes Councilman Henry. Thank you, Mr. President. The Housing Community Development Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0679, Street Encroachment, 201 North Schroeder Street on Wednesday, June 22nd at 3 p.m. here in Chambers. Uh, Mr. President, I need to suspend rules 10-2 and 10-3 to announce a hearing. Second by Councilman Scott. All those in favor of suspending rules announce a hearing. Say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The motion carry. 
Chair McNeese, Councilman Henry. Thank you, Mr. President. The Housing Community Development Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0680, uh, Street Encroachment 101 North Schroeder Street at 3.05 p.m. on Wednesday, June 22nd here in the Council Chambers. I need to suspend rules 10-2 and 10-3 to announce a hearing. Second by Councilman Scott. All those favor suspending the rules to announce a hearing, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The most encouraged, Chair recognize Councilman Henry. Thank you, Mr. President. The Housing Community Development Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0681, City Streets closing a portion of West Franklin Street at 3.10 p.m. on Wednesday, June 22nd, here in the Council Chambers. I need to suspend rules 10-2 and 10-3 to announce Councilman a hearing. Second by Councilman Scott. All those in favor of suspending the rules to announce a hearing, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The most encouraged, Chair recognize Councilman, excuse me, Henry. <laughs> I'm writing, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. And the Housing Community Development Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0683, City Streets opening the beds of Henneman Avenue and a 10-foot alley at 3.15 p.m. here in Council Chambers on Wednesday, June 22nd. Finally, I need to suspend Rules 10-2 and 10-3. Second by Councilman Kern. All those in favor of suspending the <laughs> rules announce a hearing, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The most encouraged chair recognized. Councilman Henry. Thank you, Mr. President. The Housing Community Development Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0684, City Streets closing the beds of Henneman Avenue, a 10-foot alley, and a 20-foot alley at 3.20 p.m. on Wednesday, June 22nd, here in Council Chambers. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Recognized Councilman Kraft. Oh, you have some, Councilman Kraft? All right. <clears throat> Mr. Mr. President, the Judiciary and Legislative Investigations Committee will conduct a hearing on Council Bill 160613, the Corrective Bill for 2016, on Tuesday, June 28, 2016, at 9.30 a.m. here in the Council Chambers. Thank you. Committee announcement. Chair recognize Councilwoman Middleton. You have committee announcements? Oh, Chair recognize um, Councilwoman Middleton. Thank you, Mr. President. The Urban Affairs and Aging Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0658 on July 14th at 3 p.m. here in Council Chambers, and it's an ordinance concerning the Baltimore City landmark list, the exteriors of the Ambassador Theater. Uh, the Urban Affairs and Aging Committee will hear City Council Bill 16-0657 on July 14th at 3.05 p.m. here in Council Chambers. It's an uh, ordinance concerning a Baltimore City landmark list exteriors, the Apostolic Faith Church of God building, July 14th. The Urban Affairs and Aging Committee will hear City Council Bill 160659 on July 14th at 3.10 p.m. here in Council Chambers. It's an ordinance concerning a Baltimore City landmark list, the exteriors of St. Mark's Institutional Baptist Church. Thank you. Thank you. Committee announcement, Chair recognize Councilman Kern. Thank you, Mr. President. It's just a reminder that the Labor Committee will meet Wednesday at 5 o'clock, televised by Charm City TV, um, for the $15 minimum wage. Just want to remind the council members it's expected to be a long and lengthy hearing. We're going to have Oh, yeah, Several good. hundred people but could be coming down and testify. Um, and we're going to try to get out of here by 8 o'clock because we're only taking public testimony. We're not doing any amendments submitted. So we get through the public process on this. Um, I know the fire marshal will, will be uh, available to us in case there's going to be overflow. The current room <coughs> will have a screen and seats set up. I know the balcony is not set up yet, Council President, but the current the room. Bal we, the balcony will. No, not Wednesday. Okay. Not for Wednesday. The, uh, the current room will be, be set up with a screen and chairs, so the overflow, we expect a, um, a lengthy hearing, so just be prepared for Wednesday, and uh, we'll get through it, the public process, and then we'll have some work sessions in a uh, uh, couple work sessions, and we'll see what we've got to do. But uh, remember, Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Thank you. Committee announcements. Chair recognize Council Vice President Ron Singer. Uh, Mr. President, the Land Use and Transportation Committee will hold a hearing on Bill 16-0630, 
on Wednesday, July 13th at 1.15 p.m. in the Council Chambers. Uh, this is zoning. It's conditional use conversion of a one-family dwelling unit to a one-family dwelling unit and one efficiency unit in the R8 zoning district. The variance located at 317 West 30th Street. Uh, the committee will also hold a hearing on 16-0676 on Wednesday, July 13th at 1.30 p.m. in the Council Chambers. This is a plan unit development, Amendment 1-3, Montgomery Park Business Center. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, committee announcements. Okay. Um, the City Council may consider the adoption of the fiscal year 2017 tax rate at the next meeting of the City Council on Monday, June the 20th at 5 p.m. Any more announcements? Committee announcements? Okay, not yet. Regular announcement, Chair recognized Councilor Mr. Costello. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as for a moment of silence for DeAndre Barnes, DeAndre is a 13-year-old boy who was uh, murdered over the weekend, lived in the Seton Hill neighborhood, and attended Booker T. Washington uh, Elementary Middle School, or Middle School, pardon me. I have another one? And also, um, another moment of silence for the, for the 50 uh, LGBT victims uh, in Orlando, Florida. I'll uh, check recognize, um, any more? Chair recognize Councilman Scott. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, members of the council, we all know about what happened in Orlando, and my colleague has already spoken about what happened to the 13-year-old just here in Baltimore. But I think it's important for us to, to talk about this issue because it's going to be an issue that we all need to have a serious discussion about, not just in Baltimore, but in this country. When we think about the common denominator, whether it be the 13,000 people killed in this country last year by gun, or victims in a 13-year-old in Baltimore, or mass shooting victims in Orlando, or in Denver, or a four-year-old killed in Baltimore, they all have the one common denominator. It's guns. Guns is the common denominator. Now is not the time to be divisive and try to put one religion versus another. Now is time to put the campaign in your back pocket and we have to have a serious discussion about guns and gun violence in our country because that's what happens. If you look at our, our homicide rate for the, the last years that official compared to other countries, ours is 2.9 per 100,000. That's 30 times more than in the United Kingdom, which is at 0.1. Point one. If you just look at 60% of the homicides in 2012 in the United States were done with a gun versus 30% in Canada and 10% in the United Kingdom. The common denominator is guns. Especially, it doesn't matter if it's an assault rifle used in a mass shooting or it's a pistol or revolver used to snuff out some young kid who may have made a bad decision. Guns are the common denominator. It's time for us to stop thinking about guns is something that we should be born with in our hand and take to our grave and money is the only thing that matters and think about what it is doing to people and our families in our country. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilman. And that is um, so true. Um, you know, every time they bring up guns, whether it's in Annapolis or whether it's uh, in Congress or in the Senate, they always shoot it down. But yet we have, like you said, one of the highest um, murder rates anywhere in this country and now in the cities, and something needs to be done. Uh, we send troops over to Iraq. We send troops over to Afghanistan. We send troops everywhere but here. And I'm not asking that we have a military state, but we need to do something. We need to think outside of the box and start considering how we're going to make America's neighborhoods safe for all of us to live in a peaceful uh, community. So, Councilman, that was um, something that was very, um, you know, great for you to do. And I hope that this council can go on record since you brought it up as um, supporting um, a resolution going to the state and to Congress and to our president that we are serious about reducing the murder rate in our city and across America because something has to be done. Enough is enough. Um, any more regular announcements? Um, please, um, uh, Council Vice President Reisinger, um Pete Hall, for a moment of silence. Hall, H-A, 
H-A-L-L, Hall. And if I might speak just briefly about what happened in Orlando, Florida, it boggles my mind how someone can walk into a venue uh, with the type of assault weapon that was used to gun down uh, 50 plus people. Um, somebody had to see something. There's no way in the world that you can walk into a venue carrying those kind of um, weapons. You have to have bullets, you have to have a case to carry it in. Um, every venue that I have been to since the uh, terrorist attack, they, they check you. When you come into City Hall, they warn you. You go in the State House, they warn you. I mean, it, it's just getting out of hand that people are so, um, I, I wouldn't say mentally unstable, but filled with so much hatred that they would go to gun down people um, unexpectedly. This is America. You've never heard of these kind of things um, taking place in America, except for the last 10, 15 years with the terrorist attacks that's been on our grounds here. But we as citizens of Baltimore um, need to make our voice heard in Washington. Uh, we need to go to, not just to Annapolis, not just coming to City Hall. We need to take some um, trips down to uh, Washington, D.C., and let the government know how we feel about protecting our own communities. You know, instead of wasting a lot of money on foreign soil, let's start putting money here where we live. Chair recognize Councilman Costello. Thank you, Mr. President and colleagues. I forgot to mention uh, this evening there's going to be a uh, candlelight vigil at 7 p.m. at the corner of uh, North and Charles at the Why Not lot um, in memory uh, of the victims of that senseless tragedy in Orlando. And if any of my colleagues are available, please would love to have you join us. Thank you. Chair recognize Council Vice President Ron Singer. Mr. President, members of the council, the next meeting of the city council will be held on Monday, June 20th at 5 p.m. in the council chambers. Mr. President, I ask for a moment of silence for Peter Hall, Pete Hall, DeAndre Barnes, and also the 50 uh, Orlando, Florida victims. Thank you. There being no further business, this concludes the 121st meeting of the 71st term of the Baltimore City Council. Good night.